so so I'm eight days in. Um, so I'm going to just talk through the, the sort of process that I went through. And I just found this this morning. I saw this on somebody had liked this on the, on Facebook this morning. I thought it is is very much about the fact that this about in situ being based in a library. Um, and this was my uh, original application. So my application was put together on a blog. Um, and I won't read the text, and I don't expect you to read all of the text, but just say I'm a bit of a book person. I love dusty old spines, aged coloured pages, and the traditional image of a library with sturdy oak furniture. One of the first things I started to look at, because obviously I'm interested in the space that I'm in and where I'm, I'm sort of delving around, is that I started to look on maps. This is the 1880 Greenwood map of Lancashire, or part of it anyway. Um, and I can't find Briarfield. <laughs> so Briarfield isn't isn't named, is it? No, it is. is it? Yeah, yeah. Unless I'm no, that's right. Cliff. Cliff. There's Reed, Le Reedley, Lower Reedley. Oh, it's yeah. So it's sort of in that section there, but it doesn't appear to be named on, on that particular map. So Wait. I thought what? Got Colin uh, Nelson. Right. And then if you look at all the old houses around here, they're all about 1850, 1900. Right. So, um, and, but if you look at the old houses, really old houses, they're, they're um, near the Quakers. Quakers are about 250 years old. That's uh, a manufacturer over there um, with books. And so this is my, this is my uh, just a photograph of the drawing that I've got on my board. It will have them on my board in my um, my studio, which was my idea about to play with this idea about books and, and the library. I wanted to create a travelling bookcase. Um, that became the focal point of my project, and actually at this point, probably worth just wheeling, wheeling it in to show you. Here, shopping trolley, not a shopping trolley that they give you in the shop, it's one of the ones that you buy with like an old lady's shopping, bright, brightly coloured shopping bag on, on it, and it just um, has had a, a bookcase made for it. So they're shredding books because they're sort of disposing of them, and it's that idea about well, what do you do with books once they've gone from the library or are they going from the library? Um, and it's the Briarfield Book Mystery join in here. So there's a picture of a box of old books, which was the first box of books that I encountered when I came into this space. Um, and then this is my set of bookshelves, which has uh, all of the books that are in the library. Um, so <coughs> I wanted to sort of play with all of those processes of cataloguing and people thinking about what they would be if there was something different, you know, trying to imagine them first published in 2008 because 2008 was the year that they got to know this area. So it tells you a little bit about the person and it tells you a little bit about, um, yeah, well, yes, does it? And I felt sort of at that point, I felt I was in this mysterious place, I didn't know where I was, I didn't know... Um, how to find my way around it really because I didn't have this map with me um, and I felt like I needed to find things it was quite, it's quite interesting extra books from other libraries and he said yes <laughs> with a glint in his eye and I thought brilliant and then all these boxes started appearing so the things that you see the um, trolley of, of books over there and the boxes and the construction here have all started from that point. So as I've been doing my residency, which was originally around playing with the bookcase idea and the travelling bookcase, I've also started to bring in other things. And I've probably overloaded myself with ideas, but anyway. So the the construction of a shape started just to see what I could make. How would it work from a an, you know will will it hold itself to the areas that it goes to? It was quite a long way. Um, and I went out with Steve, the driver, for a morning. So we, we were off on the road at about quarter to nine and we were back here by about two-ish. And then he went back and carried on in the afternoon and did a, a further library service. So in that time, I took my travelling library uh, bookshelf with me and I asked people who came onto the bus, would they like to be part of this? So some of those people that were on the bus did actually go into the bookcase. So a lot of the books in the book library, in the travelling library, they've all got marks in them. And that is minor. <laughs> so people, but I can, I, you know, yeah, I can get it. People, as they get older, 
your me if, the, if your if your memory is fading, <laughs> my memory is starting to go now. If you look at something, think I have no idea what. I'm but um, we did have other visitors in as well, and that's just me talking to somebody about how to fill the forms in for the, the form, should I say, the simple form, because I'm going to ask you all to fill one in. <laughs> uh, the simple forms fill in, and people came in and had a play. And that's been quite an interesting process to go through, talking to people about folding books. These are the starting points. So these were just a simple piece of book, a tiny piece of book, just start folding and see what happens because it is very simple. It is just a straight fold or an angled fold. It's just when you start thinking about well, how do I how do I interleave straight folds with angled folds, or do I do double folds, or you know that's that's that starts to make give it a different shape. And that particular one is where you cut the book in half down the middle, so you're folding pages into the middle. Um, this was just before we did the book folding workshop. This was the first um, play that we had with them. It was sort of slightly raining, but we didn't think that mattered, so we went out and had to go anyway. And it was quite interesting because you can just see the bus step, bus, the bus shelter on the left-hand side. So where the bus was coming along, it would stop. People would get get off the bus and obviously weave their way through the shelter as it takes you through that, and then be confronted with this, which was a bit sort of slightly startled some idea of stairs because it's much more visual, it's right in the front where people could see it as they were walking by. But um, I was also interested in what message that gives about the building. You know, what, um, and, and quite, uh, quite interested in playing with that idea with the library access steps as well. Um, sheet or my tracking of all of these people. Um, there, there's 37 books in the library so far. They're not all printed up there because it takes me a little while. I, one of the things I realise is that, what, I don't know why I do this, but I choose processes that are actually quite labour intensive. Um, but as it's starting to get to this point, I'm starting to re feel better about it. that was coming through was something that really triggered a memory for people that were in the library that day. So I had some really lovely comments where people would come over and say, I've sat and listened to this, it's brilliant, I really love it. You know, I haven't heard that noise, is it? Ting! Um, and some people did say no, and my starting point where I thought, right, okay, I'll go and I'll go to the butchers, and I'll go and ask the, book, the men in the butcher's shop, if they'd like. and they just stood there looking at me as if I was an absolute lunatic. And, and you know, when you're thinking, some. I'm, I, I'll encourage them, it'll be great, they'll, 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 they'll love it in the end when they work out what I'm doing. And they just looked at me blankly and I thought, this isn't what I care, I think I need to leave. <laughs> Sealed. Um, on Amazon and eBay, just, just to see what sort of things you could buy. And I found that on Amazon, you can buy sweatshirts, and you can buy badges, and you can buy mugs, and you can buy t-shirts. And they say, um, I love Briarfield. Well, I heart Briarfield. So there's a great, big, great big pink. I didn't realise how luminous pink it was when I ordered it, but great big luminous pink heart. And Briarfield was mum. Got this big red sweatshirt, um, which I've probably got a photograph of somewhere. But I, it, it, I don't. I, so I've written on it. Do I love Briarfield? With a question mark down at the bottom to just see if it would provoke um, some response from people. And part of the problem early on was it was very cold, so actually I needed something else and another layer on top. Um, and now it's so hot in it, <laughs> you, can't, you can't wear it. But um, yeah, so 